What's going on guys? Biker Dave here working on the 2004 Pontiac Matrix clone, also known as a Vibe. Uh, this is the same basic car as a Toyota Matrix. And this particular generation is from 03 to 08. And uh, the issue is, it's a common issue on many cars actually, and I've never looked into it, but we're going to improve how the door opens because this car has over 200,000 miles so imagine how many times the doors have been open and closed especially on the driver's side and um, I had no idea that you could even replace this part that I'm about to show you and you can buy it brand new pretty much all over the place so let's take a closer look I'll show you what I mean okay the issue is if you know when you um, you know when you open your door it usually goes in two stages, you know, it like opens a little bit, stops, and then if you push it more, it'll open the rest of the way. You know, this will prevent you from uh, accidentally hitting a car next to you with your door and all that. But this older one doesn't have that little notch in it anymore. Like, you know, you should open it to about there and it should stop. But see, it doesn't. Because it's worn out. So, you know, if you're, you know, in a parking lot and you go to open the door and there's a car right next to you, if you're not careful, this thing would swing all the way open and just bump into that car. So, look at this. This part falls under many different names. And you see where it's located? The door jam strap stopper. It falls under many names if you're searching for it. I'll put a link where you can find it for this particular car. But that's what you'll have to search for. Door jam strap stopper. <laughs> very very odd, you know, what it's called. I didn't even know what it was called either. But that's what I found. Anyway, we're going to replace this piece. And you notice it's very simple how it goes. You'll just need, for this car, you'll just need a 10 millimeter socket. Um, maybe one with a long extension because it'll be easier to remove this nut or this little bolt. And then you can shorten the extension and remove these two on the sides right here. And uh, we'll show you real quick. It's very simple. All right, with your, with your tin here. Loosen this bad boy. Then you come over to the sides. There's two over here. Now we're going to have to pull the door panel back a little bit because you have to feed it, you have to feed that part inside the door and then you can pull it out from right under here basically. So we don't have to take the panel off all the way, but you do have to kind of pull it back some. So you got a Phillips head screw right here and then with a little flat head you'll pry off this little cap right here. Right there, and then there's another Phillips right behind there. Remove those screws, then you'll be able to just pull the door panel back some, and uh, then we'll move on from there. Okay, now these are just secured. You know, once you remove the screws here, the door is just secured with little push rivets, basically. So you just sort of firmly pull back on it like this. Then you can just lift it up over the uh, edge of the window area lift it up over this edge right here and it'll pop right off and this will also give you a chance to uh, check any screws nuts and bolts up inside here you know you got a couple of bolts here to hold the handle in place you may want to check those with your uh, with your tin while you're in here you could also get a look at your speaker notice you got your speaker down there, if you can see this. If your speaker is in ratty condition, it's a good time to replace it. 
but we're not going to do that now. And this blue plastic is just kind of stuck on with some adhesive, like tar adhesive. So just pull it back a little bit. And then you'll see that hole that gets exposed. And we're going to pull this strap, which I guess that's what it used to be called in the old days. Just pull the strap right through. Okay, and notice how it's oriented when you put the other one on. The good thing about these is they work on either the left-hand door or the right-hand door. The same part is for both. You just flip it over depending on which door you're working with. It'll even tell you if you're working on the right side, there's a little R. If you're working on the left side, you just flip it over and there'll be an L. So, yeah, it's very, very easy to do. And you can see how it's oriented like so. Then we'll just feed it through and uh, refasten it the way we just took the others off. All right, now that we've got it fed back through right there, you just, you know, just screw them in by hand for the moment. And then the one with the blue Loctite is the one that fastens to the body, that guy right there. Then to put the door panel on, you'd literally just hang it, you know, hang it over this little sill right here. Alrighty. Just reversing what we did to remove the stuff. Very simple. Tighten them down firmly, then tighten the two on the side, nice and firm. And to put the door panel back on, you know, make sure that this top strip up here is in place. It's got a few little metal clips that hold it on the very top of it there. Make sure that it's in place. Then you just sort of drape it over this little window sill here. You know, just drape it on and then pull it this way. Then you'll see where it lines up on the edge of the door down here. You know, it's no big deal. And then the little plastic push pins, you just sort of bump them in place all the way around. And then put your little hand cup back in place screw it down put your other screw right back in there make sure it's good and firm then put your little cap back in place make sure everything's working okay and then we test it out remember it would just swing open too easily now it opens and kind of stops right there then you can open it the rest of the way so that was the main issue is that middle point right there was just worn out the uh, original piece right there was just totally worn out you know 200,000 miles anyway that's all there is to it I'll put a link down below where you can get this but um, yeah door strap hinge link you know it has all kinds of different names but I'll put uh, what, it, what it was called for this particular car. So awesome. Very happy with that. And that's all there is to it. Uh, it's the same procedure for the other side, but it's usually the driver's side door that gets used the most, so your passenger side door may not even need it. Anyway, that's it. Uh, this Once again, this is a 2004 Pontiac Vibe, also known as a Toyota Matrix because it's actually made by Toyota. A uh, good little car. We got other uh, videos of little fixes and improvements and things we've done to this car and tons of other cars as well. Trucks, motorcycles, classic cars, Mustangs, Ford Taurus X, you know, all kinds of stuff on the channel. So have a look through it and uh, make sure you Google Horsepower House. We have an eBay store, Amazon store, two YouTube channels, Facebook page, all kinds of cool stuff. So just have a look for us and um, we hope that you'll come back and see us soon. Biker Dave signing off from Marietta, Georgia. We'll see y'all later.